do you need an art degree or do you have an art degree is a question that I get asked every now and then. Over the years, it's only been about a handful of times. But I know that a lot of people who ask me are wondering if they need to get an art degree in order to be an artist or if they need to have an art degree in order to make a living. For this, I think several areas need to be discussed to get a true picture of what you need and why and whether or not the cost of certain things is worth it. First, colleges can be very expensive. I did a quick Google search on the top five art schools. The average to go per class is around $5,600. For some people, that's not very viable, but that's one class. That's not a semester of four classes. I've got the list of the tuitions and I've got a list of how much it would be per class. I estimated for this when they were saying credit hours that it would be at least three hours per class. That's what it was for mine. It was around three to four hours. If you don't go the college route and you want to get private tutoring, I found a website. It's called Don Art. They do offer classes that cap out at nine people. It's for four weeks for $145. Now their classes are offered once a week for three hours and 45 minutes. Whereas in a university, you would usually meet two to three times a week, so maybe six hours a week for 15 weeks. Whereas theirs is three hours and 45 minutes once a week for four weeks. If we were to go to them for 12 weeks, the cost would end up being $435. And that's with it capping out at nine. If any of you ever been to university or took any classes in university, you'll know that classes are usually larger than nine people. The advantage here is that even though you're not meeting as often, you'll get more one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher. One caveat that I wanna add is that I'm not familiar with DawnArt.com. It was just an example that I found online. The greatest value that art classes offer is that one-on-one -on -one time with the professor. You can take an art book and you can sit down and you can get yourself to grid and practice, but it's very hard when you're learning to see what you're doing wrong or how to improve what it is that you're doing. So what's needed is some criticism. What's needed is some input for someone to point out, you know, you have one shadow going this way, one shadow going that way. Do I regret not having an art degree? No, but I still put in a lot of work. I still took classes and I still did a lot of things outside of academia to become an artist. You'll see a lot of artists didn't have art degrees. Monet didn't, Salvador Dali didn't. In fact, he was expelled twice from school. Michelangelo didn't go to university because there wasn't really the university system set up as we know it. Back then, an artist would be considered a tradesman. So what you would do is you would find a master and you would work underneath them. It's a lot like our internships. You work for free for the exposure, for the experience. They didn't go to university and they weren't studying anything else but their craft. It's the same as when people go to technical schools, but it was for the arts. I consider the best way to learn to be to find somebody who's very good at what they do and to try to learn from them directly and to get as much private tutoring from them as possible. I think it's difficult in a public school system or other universities where you switch teachers who no longer have that rapport with you, but also who aren't aware of what you have and haven't done. By working with that one person, your master, as you're the apprentice, that person becomes very aware of what you can and can't do and is going to continue to work with you. That being said, there are artists who did get degrees. It's valuable to learn. Sometimes when you tell people that you don't need a degree to be an artist, it comes off as you just need to sit in your room by yourself and do whatever you feel like. The reality is, is that you need to study and you need to apprentice and you need to absorb information, but largely you need to take it upon yourself to learn. What I recommend for every artist is to always to try to learn new things and to try to learn them from new people. Sometimes you're gonna get lessons about what you really don't like and sometimes lessons about what you really do like. Newer artists tend to be very, very focused on exactly what it is that they wanna make and can sometimes be hesitant to try new things. Like if they're very into drawing dogs, it seems like pulling teeth to get them to draw anything else but dogs. But they're gonna grow a lot more if they continue to expand and do those things maybe just in the background every now and then, reach out and try something new. If you already have your art degree or if you don't have the money for an art degree, consider the classes. There are ones less expensive than I listed. You can find classes for 45 bucks, 120 bucks. It doesn't always have to be in the hundreds of dollars. There are classes that you can take locally. Michaels will offer them, Binders, Blicks, your local art stores. Usually there's gonna be an artist or some sort of class being advertised there. They'll usually be anywhere from one to three sittings, 
and anywhere from $65 to $250. It just depends upon the artist. What they'll do is they'll have an image of the artist's work for the advertisement so you can see exactly how proficient that artist is before you go into a class with them. You can also Google them. Another opportunity is meetup.com. I've done some live drawing sessions through them. So no, you don't need a degree to be an artist. Yes, you need to learn from other people and you need to put time, effort, money, and energy into your art to become a good artist, which is pretty common sense when you think about it. I hope my video was helpful. If you have any questions or any comments that you'd like to add, please do so down below. And also it'd be great if you subscribed.